chapter 4, in which it is too is sent to school, but does not stay long there. Until he was eight years old, his two had no experience of school. Mrs. Mother preferred to begin her son's education herself and teach him the rudiments of the three R's, which, as everyone knows, are reading, writing and arithmetic. <laughs> we must admit that the results were not at all bad. Thanks to some beautiful picture books, but specially, these two learned that A stood for aunt, anchor and ass, B for ball, balloon and bird, and so on. As for arithmetic, Mrs. Mother used swallows sitting on telephone wires. These two learned not only to add and subtract, but was even able to divide seven swallows for instance, by two telephone wires, the answer to which is three and a half swallows per telephone wire. How half a swallow sits on a telephone wire is another matter, which all the figures in the world have never been able to explain. But when Tistu reached his eighth birthday, Mrs. Mother came to the conclusion that she had completed her task and this too must now be entrusted to a proper schoolmaster. So this too was bought a school smock, new shoes, which hurt his feet, a satchel, a black pencil box with Japanese figures on the outside, an expensive book with wide lines, another with narrow lines, and Carolus, the manservant, took him to the Mirpoil school, which had a very good reputation indeed. Everyone expected that a little boy so neatly dressed, whose parents were so beautiful and so rich, and who already knew how to divide swallows into halves and quarters, would be very good at his lessons. Alas, alas, school had an unforeseen disastrous effect on these two. When the long lines of letters began to stride across the blackboard, when the long chains of the multiplication tables began to unroll themselves link by link with their three times three, their five times five, and their seven times seven, this tooth left eye began to blink, and soon he fell fast asleep. And yet, he was not stupid or lazy or even tired. He was really a very good boy and tried hard. I won't go to sleep. I won't go to sleep, this too said to himself. He fixed his eyes on the blackboard and listened as hard as he could to the master's voice. But then his left eye would start blinking again, though he did everything he could not could not to fall asleep. He even sang to himself a pretty little song of his own invention. What is half a swallow and half of that? A leg or a wing, an extraordinary thing. Where is a tart? I'd cut off a large part and swallow and swallow and swallow. There was nothing to be done. The master's voice was a lullaby. The blackboard turned as dark as night. The ceiling seemed to whisper down to him. Happy dreams, this too. And the Mirpoil schoolroom became a land of oblivion. Tis too, yelled the master. I didn't do it on purpose, sir, said Tis too, waking up with a start. I can't help that, said the master. Repeat what I've just been saying. Six tarts divided by two swallows. Go to the bottom of the class. His first day at school, Tistu got zero for everything. His second day, he was punished by keep being kept in for two hours. 
That's to say that he slept in the schoolroom for two extra hours. On the third day, the master gave this two a letter for his father. Mr. Father, when he opened the letter, was pained to read the following words. Sir, your son is not like other people. We cannot keep him here. The school had sent his two back to his parents. 